Jacques Chamblay, broadcasting from Chamblay, Atlanta, the next great American city, Battleground Zero, the epicenter of the 2019 civil defense of the United States of America. It's winding up on 7.30 in the evening. It's Friday, July 20th. 2019, and uh, earlier today it was uh, rather humid here, but sunny in Chambly, Atlanta, Georgia, but in the last hour it's been pouring rain through the sunshine, but it seems to be clearing up now. In the news today, of course, following Trump path to victory in 2020. Out of the battleground state of Georgia, also the 5th Congressional District of our dear congressperson, John Lewis, what current president said is all talk and no action. This is Cyber Citizen Network, Cy Radio, Derek Chambly, all talk, Trump, executive action. Following the news today, it's all over the major media uh, about the 400-year anniversary of the settling of Jamestown, Virginia. Some articles breaking something to the effect that uh, if our current president, Donald Trump, uh, visits uh, this particular celebration, that Democrats are going to boycott it. And we're going to go back again in time. Cyber Circle time, utilizing uh, Wikipedia. Just Google Jamestown in Wikipedia, and we're going to skip down in the Wikipedia article, The History of Jamestown, Virginia, which in the beginning of the article is credited with transporting 50 African slaves, which is credited with establishing the Atlantic slave trade in the Western Hemisphere, beginning at Jamestown in 1619, exactly 400 years ago. And a side note, Maybe what is there connected with this celebration? Is it a celebration, for instance, of the establishment 400 years ago of slavery in the Western Hemisphere by the British Empire? Jamestown, Virginia. The particular site is protected under the National Historical Places, which perhaps raises another question. How is this really connected with the United States of America. How is this settling at Jamestown, Virginia, for King James, named after King James of England, first name, New London, 
is this 400-year celebration connected with the United States of America? That's what we're pursuing in this particular story. Prior to this particular celebration. 400 year celebration in Jamestown, Virginia. We're going to pick up the Wikipedia article a little further down. Late in 1606, English colonizers set sail with a charter from the London Company to establish a colony in the New World. The fleet consisted of the ships Susan Constant. Discovery and Godspeed, all under the leadership of Captain Christopher Newport. And we want to stop right there, perhaps, uh, since uh, Virginia, uh, the colony of Virginia that was that was founded there, uh, utilized the slaves to cultivate tobacco, perhaps. The Newport Cigarette is named after Captain Christopher Newport. Uh, We'll continue with the Wikipedia article. They made a particularly long voyage of four months, including a stop in the Canary Islands, and subsequently Puerto Rico, and finally departed for the American mainland on April 10th, 1607. The expedition made landfall on April 26, 1607. So, evidently, side note, it only took uh, 16 days from Puerto Rico. They made a landing at a place they named Cape Henry. Under orders to select a more secure location, they set about exploring what is now Hampton Roads and an outlet to the Chesapeake Bay, which they named the James River in honor of James the First of England, King James the First of England. Captain Edward Maria Wingfield was elected president of the governing council on April 25th, 1607. And a side note, in the breaking news in one of the articles about the so-called Democrats boycotting this celebration, it's a celebration tied with the first governing uh, body or console, evidently, uh, 400 years ago. However, it appears, according to this Wikipedia article, the first governing console was formed in 1607, 1607, 12 years before the 400-year anniversary of marking the slaves coming uh, from Africa in 1619. 